Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Camry this generation right here from year 2015, 16 and 17. If you guys have one of those and if you have a problem where the air conditioner does not work, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that, top 5 things. We will explain which fuse and relay you always need to check first, that way you do not waste your money on parts and diagnostics you don't need, because often it could be just a bad fuse or a relay. Number 3 guys, we will explain what else it could be that most people never think about that, and it actually could happen quite often on a higher mileage vehicle. We will also explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, engines, transmission, we show you how to do practically almost anything guys. We even do body works. We have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, on Toyota Camry guys, Camry, if you have that generation, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay, why we do all that. Due to the fact that if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where your fuel pump fuse is located because your car cannot start, you can just watch that video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, that relay, you're back on the road and you're back in business, guys, because otherwise, if you don't have your service manual, uh, it could be really complicated. Sometimes it's hard to find. There is uh, abbreviations that most people do not know, so we try to make it really convenient for you. Another thing, guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays, okay, you see that you have all these different kinds of fuses, guys, okay? You have different kinds of relays. You have these special fuses, by the way, that look like this one here check this thing out we will put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time so let's start on it now so if the ac is not working guys air conditioner is not working okay we will demonstrate on this 2017 toyota camry first which fuses and relays you need to check you have two different fuse boxes guys in that car will be working both the first one is on the driver's side open the door look above the pedals under the dash in the left corner all the way there upside down you see one white cover once you remove it you'll find the interior fuse box layout that will look okay guys just like this one right here now before we continue let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here guys we'll need to check three fuses the first fuse is fuse number three right here then you need to check that's four thirty eight five six seven eight nine ten fuse number ten so number three number ten and fuse number twenty five right here now if you open the hood under the hood you have another fuse box this is guys okay the fuse box under this cover go ahead open that cover you will see that fuse box layout here now you don't have any fuses you don't have any special relays for the ac system and most cars do have ac compressor relay ac clutch relay but uh, from what we understand guys we did a lot of research most likely that function is built in that integration relay this is the computerized relay right here what else can cause air conditioner not to work? Okay, number one, being low on Freon. That can be caused by a leak such as condenser, hose or AC compressor. Not having enough pressure in the system will not activate the air conditioner. Number two, bad AC clutch. Number three, AC compressor, that is bad. We have videos how to test and replace AC clutch, how to rebuild AC compressor on our channels, guys, check it out. Number four, it could be bad air conditioner AC pressure switch. This is that little switch device that detects how much pressure you have in the AC system. It knows if you have free on, so practically the engine computer can engage the air conditioner. Number four, guys, it could be a bad radiator fan. Number five, actually, a radiator fan. 
If the radiator fan does not work, air conditioner will not work, so the car does not overheat. And if you have a bad uh, radiator fan or bad radiator fuse or relay, that can cause the air conditioner not to work as well. Another thing that most people don't think about is called blend door actuator. This is that device behind the dash. Some cars will have one or two depending if you have dual climate control. This, what it does, it flips from cold to hot. Okay, switches from hot to cold. And if it's stuck in hot position, your air conditioner may be working perfectly fine, but you're actually getting hot air. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.